Hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar on Deploy Sidefinity in Microsoft Azure. I am Abhilash and I will be your moderator for today's webinar. As we begin, I want to take you through a few indicators so that we can interact better during the webinar. What you're looking at is the attendee interface of GoToWebinar. As you can see, there's also a view window on the left. This window will show you everything that will be sharing from our screen. You also have a, access to a control panel, which is on the right hand side from where you can type in your queries and share your comments. We will be reviewing your questions as they come in and we'll take them up towards the end during the question and answer session. Also, the webinar is being recorded and uh, everyone will receive an email with a link to view the recording of today's webinar. Now, let me tell you something about our company, Suyati Technologies. Suyati provides marketing technology and integration services for companies that wish to combine the best of the breed solutions and create a unified approach to customer acquisition. We enable system integration between various CMS and CRM platforms and a slew of e-commerce marketing automation, social media listening, email, and social marketing, and customer service systems. So yeah, these custom technology solutions have been deployed in companies in the US, Western Europe, and Australia, and have helped many enterprises leverage the web, cloud, mobile technologies to acquire customers through integrated digital marketing. We have strategic partnership with various technological giants, such as Salesforce CRM, Scientifinity CMS and MongoDB. And uh, we are also a Microsoft certified gold partner. Suyati is based in Chicago with product engineering capability out of the US and India. Suyati is also a Scientifinity partner, as I have already told you. Being a Scientifinity partner uh, helps us provide enterprises the best content management services customized to offer their clients unique online experiences. Combining our CMS expertise and our skills in working with the .NET platform, we can leverage the powerful products from Sitefinity to enable personalized digital ambience for diverse audiences. So yeah, this repertoire of Sitefinity expertise includes, but is not restricted to, integration with different systems, CMS migration, customizations, e-commerce, and leveraging other features of the Sitefinity platform. Now, let me introduce you to our speaker. Our today's speaker is Ajay KM. Um, talking about Ajay, Ajay is a hardcore a technology evangelist uh, and he specializes in Sitefinity and Microsoft technologies with a bundle of certifications uh, from both streams. He has also been associated with Suyati uh, for the last three years. He's currently working on Suyati's uh, content management system projects and uh, apart from problem solving and technology, he is also passionate about singing romantic melodies and traveling. Now, uh, these are our social hashtags and handles. Uh, you can use these hashtags and handles to post questions, uh, follow us, or even tag us. Now, I'd like to walk you through uh, the agenda for today. We'll be starting off with uh, a uh, uh, an explanation on why you need cloud computing services. And then we'll be talking about the advantages that uh, cloud hosting services provide. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, how you can deploy cloud hosting in Sitefinity and what are the benefits of that. Uh, we'll be talking about what Sitefinity offers for cloud hosting. We'll be talking about the prerequisites and restrictions which are associated with a deployment plan of Sitefinity CMS, you know, Microsoft Azure platform. And then uh, our speaker will walk you through a demo which will help you to understand how you can deploy a Sitefinity CMS on a Microsoft Azure Cloud platform. Now, I'd like to hand it over to our today's speaker, Ajay. Over to you, Ajay. 
Thank you, Abhilash, uh, for your wonderful introduction. Good morning, all. Uh, as mentioned by Abhilash, uh, I am a CMS evangelist and a certified Sitefinity developer working with CRT for the last three years. Uh, in today's session, we can talk about uh, the deployment of Sitefinity in Windows Azure. So nowadays, all the technology is moving to cloud, so you will be eager to know why. So let us start with what is cloud and why cloud. In a simple words, cloud computing means storing and accessing data over the internet instead of your computer's address. So you will be wonder what will be this advantage of this cloud computing, cloud approach uh, when compared to your uh, traditional way. So uh, let me uh, uh, give you a small, some short introductions of so advantages of this cloud computing. So the main advantages are uh, the uh, scalability, the flexibility, the universal access and up-to-date software. Scalability in the sense, uh, this is the greatest advantage of cloud computing. Uh, your business can scale up or scale down your operations and storage needs quickly to suit your situations. So uh, flexibility in the sense you, based on your needs, you can change. So the reduction of cost, uh, that means you are uh, paying only uh, what you are using. So uh, the uh, capital cost with zero in-house server storage and application requirements are readily available in these clouds. And universal access, uh, we can say the cloud is always available and the, it is 99% uh, of uptime and the connection is always on. And as long as the workers have the internet connectivity, they can get on to the application easily. So in the cloud, they can, you, have, you haven't to worry about the software or those things. They have to be uh, provide the latest updated software uh, from the cloud side itself. So uh, we have, uh, uh, I have told you about the cloud and what is, uh, why the cloud. So, so uh, cloud alone uh, cannot make uh, uh, our uh, software working. So before that, we have to host our uh, applications to cloud. So hosting is a, a simple process of configuring servers in a flexible way to allow for the most affordable, scalable, and reliable web infrastructure. So yes, cloud hosting, of course, have a lot of advantages. So I will be just giving you a brief, brief of the advantages of cloud hosting. They are, the main advantages are they are simple and affordable. It's reliable, scalable, and uh, securable, customizable, and it is supported load balancing, and it is a takeover of the disaster recovery. So let me uh, give you some uh, small uh, discussion of this advantage of this cloud hosting. And uh, the simple in the sense uh, you have to worry about the uh, IT infrastructure thing. So uh, uh, we have to only affordable in the sense you are paying only what you are using. Uh, okay, uh, the reliable. Uh, Computing means uh, this is consistent uh, than in-house IT infrastructure and is the availability of 99% and 24 by 7 in 360 days. days. And the, the most uh, important advantage is security. Security in the sense, since your data is stored in cloud, you can access it no matter what happens to your machine. So the data is already there. You cannot lose your data at any point of time. Uh, and the load balancing, uh, load balancing is actually cloud service supports uh, this load balancing. Suppose you are running a campaign for uh, next week and you can expect some uh, uh, more loads come to your server. You can scale your uh, cloud based on your uh, uh, load to the server. And uh, this uh, Azure cloud service uh, easily uh, route this request to multiple servers for the load balancing. So another important fact is the disaster recovery. So as a 
as an organization you can benefit from massive pool of redundant IT resources as well as quick failover mechanism. So if one server is fails uh, and services can easily transist to any other available service. So uh, we had uh, uh, had a quick uh, look on what is the uh, cloud, what is advantage of cloud, and what is cloud hosting. So we can move on to the sitefinity and cloud hosting. So let me give you some uh, brief introduction of the sitefinity. Sitefinity is one of the most leading uh, CMS uh, .NET based content management system uh, by the industry leader Telerik. So uh, the uh, this segment is one of the uh, 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 best CMS for the enterprises and the marketers. So you know why? Uh, what is the uh, reason behind that? So enterprises uh, love segment because of search engine optimization, e-commerce solutions, and offers flexibility asset management. And it is connected to uh, leading marketing middlewares. And uh, also, the marketers love Sitefinity because they had uh, are capable of doing marketing operations like content personalization, email marketing, social media connectivity, and mobile friendliness and Google Analytics. Uh, then we can uh, move to the uh, for the uh, hosting. Uh, hosting what Sitefinity offers for hosting. Uh, the main uh, offering are shared hosting, uh, Azure cloud services, Azure web apps, and Amazon web services. So in today's, we are mainly concentrating on the Azure cloud service. So how can we host our solutions in Azure cloud service? So before hosting our uh, applications in Azure, so we have there are some uh, prerequisites and. Uh, Restrictions uh, that we have to be taken care of. The main prerequisite that uh, we must have a valid Sitefinity license, and the Sitefinity version has to be uh, 4.2 or above. And we have must have an active Windows Azure subscription, and your Sitefinity uh, the uh, SQL uh, the uh, Mission Studio version has been uh, 2010, 13, 14, and we must have a Windows Azure SDK proper SDK version installed in our machines. These are the prerequisites for the restrictions in the sense we everything we will uh, uh, create it uh, in in locally and develop our project in locally, and after that we have to be migrated in cloud. So we have to make sure our deployment packages are ready. Uh, with uh, whatever licenses and uh, whatever configurations needed that has to be ready and then we have to move uh, everything uh, to cloud so then uh, right now uh, i have given the uh, all our introduction of uh, azure azure deploying projects to cloud so we can uh, go to the uh, demo section so we, here i can show what all things we have have to be taken care of and how we can deploy our projects to Azure. So first of all, we have to uh, uh, go to our uh, Azure account and uh, we have to create one cloud service and storage account. So in this cloud service, actually we are uh, uh, deploying our Sitefinity project. Uh, the storage account is to actually is to uh, uh, log uh, the application uh, logging purpose uh, from outside our application. If you want to access uh, store something, we can uh, uh, use this uh, storage account. So for the demo purpose, I have created one storage account here. Uh, as well as I have created one cloud service. So this, uh, uh, so these are the two things we have uh, taken care of before deploying projects to uh, Azure or Azure account. So let me go to our uh, Sitefinity project uh, in Visual Studio. So here I am using the Visual Studio version 
2013. So uh, there are a couple of things we have to uh, make sure uh, have to be, uh, make sure configured right in our uh, web config. Frame. The one thing is the in the web config you have to enable the section group for Telerik. This section group Telerik must has been uh, commented out uh, by default when you are opening a new project it will be uh, commented. So we have to uncomment that one and also go to the bottom of the uh, web config so there is a same section for the uh, Telerik uh, hosting Azure hosting so that section also has to be uncommented so this section we have to uncomment this section Uh, this thing uh, we have to make sure in the web config and the other thing is the uh, data config where we uh, we are mentioning our uh, connection string so we have to make sure uh, the connection string point to db is of type sql azure and it is properly point to your azure database properly and the next thing is the uh, project this is our site in the web app project you have to make sure that uh, this configuration folder has been included in our project and the site finity license has to be included in our project so this license has been uh, uh, so this will be part of uh, while creating our deployment package so another thing is the uh, uh, reference files so uh, we have to uh, make sure all your binaries should be copied to local and uh, accept uh, some binary files that are uh, the uh, Microsoft Azure service runtime that has to be uh, copied local must be false and the uh, mysql dot data that has to be uh, copy local faults and the uh, and the system dot windows uh, binary has to be copy local faults everything every else everything all other binary has to be copied to local true so we are uh, almost ready with our uh, 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 site the project so uh, other thing is to uh, uh, I have installed Windows Azure SDK 2.6 in machine. So once you are installed uh, uh, Windows Azure SDK, uh, you have a provision and uh, to add a new project here. So add a new, click to uh, add a new project and add a new Azure Cloud Service project here. So I have already added for that. Once you have added that, you will get a project created here and you can click the add roles and where you can add this web role project in solution uh, where you can select our site in the web app projects once that is added uh, just click on the properties here so we have to uh, give us uh, some configurations here to make everything our deployment package ready and everything configured with the uh, our windows azure account so first thing is the configurations so that is the so here we will given the access key uh, to from our uh, Azure account uh, storage account. So the login for the login purpose, everything uh, uh, login purpose we can use this. So we can provide this account key here, account name here. Actually, this has to be came from our Azure account that you can get from uh, the uh, Azure account. Go to your Azure account storage. Take the storage here and you can click on the manage keys then it will show the primary key just copy that primary key from here and put it in our uh, visual studio and click here ok so the configure section key we can then we can move the setting section there we can there is nothing much to do in the setting section in the endpoint section we have to create a site in the internal endpoint 
a new endpoint has to be added here. The name is set in the internal endpoint and the type must be internal. And everything else will be taken care of from site in the itself. And the next thing is the local storage. You can uh, define a temporary storage of one, uh, uh, one GB of whatever you needed here. And if you need it, you can add certificates, caching, and all those things here. So once everything is ready, uh, build your uh, uh, web application. And after that, uh, you have to build this cloud service. So you have the deployment package ready uh, once you build this uh, cloud service. So uh, then uh, right now our uh, project is ready to deploy in cloud. So we just need to upload this deployment CS package file and configuration package in our Azure that I can show you where you can upload that. Uh, uh, go to our cloud service. Uh, cloud service, so I have created uh, one for here. So just click on this cloud service and here we have a provision to uh, either deploy a uh, production deployment or a staging deployment. So right now I have uh, put everything in this uh, staging deployment. So just upload, uh, uh, just take, give a name for this uh, deployment and browse your, uh, the deployment package file and configuration file from the uh, local, from your local machine. Uh, just uh, upload all these necessary files here. So we have to upload this configuration file and then we can uh, upload the CS package file that we have created from the uh, Visual Studio. Just uh, upload, uh, browse that file from here and just uh, click uh, upload. Then it will uh, generally take uh, 30 to 40 minutes to uh, deploy this package in uh, Windows Azure. Uh, after that deployment is uh, completed, uh, you will be uh, uh, browse the uh, uh, the site from the uh, URL provided here. So uh, I'll show you a sample. So you'll be getting some URL like this. Uh, once that uh, up deployment is completed, you will be able to browse uh, uh, our uh, web application from the uh, Windows Azure. Uh, I think I have uh, done with the uh, demo. So uh, we can go to uh, question, and answer question and answer sections. Well, uh, thank you, Ajay, so much. It was a pleasure to have you on board. And uh, now we'll move into our uh, question and answer session. And we have our first question coming in. Our, uh, first question is, uh, if Microsoft makes a change to their services or cloud setup, is uh, SiteFinity supporting that? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, definitely SiteFinity support uh, whatever changes uh, recently introduced to, to uh, Windows Azure. Also, uh, I have uh, noticed that uh, uh, SiteFinity has a built-in tool for Visual Studio that is uh, uh, SiteFinity Thunder uh, that enables uh, evenly Easily, you can deploy projects to Windows Azure. Thanks, Ajay. Uh, we have our next question. How to deploy SiteFinity with load balancing option on Windows Azure? Uh, Windows Azure role with latest Azure SDK. Yeah, uh, uh, that's uh, also another important question. So in this thing, we have to take care of one thing. So uh, uh, it's load balancing is supported if we are using SiteFinity uh, professional license. So uh, if you are using standard license, uh, least load balancing cannot be supported. So if you are using this site uh, uh, provision license, it, uh, it will be taken care of with load balancing. Okay, so our next question is, uh, what are the site versions and uh, what are the Windows Azure SDK supported uh, versions, the corresponding yes. versions. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, right now I have uh, used in our demo, we have a SiteFinity 8.1 version and I have used uh, Windows Azure SDK 2.6. Even though SiteFinity have uh, uh, pre clearly mentioned in your, their website, if you are using SiteFinity 8.0, use Windows Azure SDK and if you are using 7.0 uh, or something, you can use uh, 
Windows Azure SDK uh, 2.2. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think I have answered that question. Yeah, definitely. So I think uh, that's all the time we had. Thank you, Ajay, and thank you all for attending today's webinar. Please look forward for the follow-up mail that will alert you on the on-demand status of the webinar so that you can review any kind of material that you have missed or you can simply go all, all over again. Uh, finally, a small request. We would like each one of you to remain with us for a few more moments and complete our four-question exit survey. Any further questions will be taken offline. Reach us at our social media or you can simply drop us an email at webinar at soyati.com. That brings us to the end of today's webinar on behalf of uh, Ajay and uh, myself and our entire team at Suyati Technologies. We thank you for joining today's webinar and taking time to attend our webinar. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.